Hi again everybody, this is Crazy Daddy and today I'm going to show you two very simple solar setups. Uh, one is an AC setup and one is a DC setup. An AC is typically higher voltage uh, that you get at home, so either 110 or 220 volts. And the DC setup is something which runs out of direct current, uh, 12 volts. Uh, but I must uh, caution you that under both systems, you are dealing with high voltages and fairly high amperages. So it, can, it is dangerous. It can cause you serious harm. So please be careful. Do not touch live wires, uh, especially the batteries, the car batteries, or uh, use rubber uh, shoes, rubber sole shoes, uh, insulated gloves, what have you. But do not take this lightly. And it is uh, if uh, you have your kids working with you, please be very careful how uh, you handle it. Also remember to connect your battery last of all because the battery carries a, the last charge. So once you set up all your other wiring, then you connect your battery. So my wife grows succulents and she wanted some ventilation for her succulents. Uh, they are in the corner of the garden where there's no easy access to power. And I thought it would be a nice little hobby project to set up a solar uh, fan for her that could run 24-7, meaning it uh, runs the fan during the day on solar power. And the solar power generator is also enough to charge up a battery that would be enough to run the fan through the night. Um, so we live in a hot climate. Uh, we have lots of sunshine. Uh, so as you can see, it's a little corner here. I've got two solar panels and I'll go through the details with you uh, here. What you need for your uh, simple solar setup, of, uh, you need one or two solar panels. I'm putting two here because later I'm going to use this as an example. Uh, one arguably may be enough, but two would be better obviously. Uh, you need the connectors to these panels. Uh, in this case, the solar panels are connected parallel to each other. We'll have a different uh, discussion on that uh, in one of my other videos. And they are connected to this unit here is called a solar charge converter. Now, uh, next to it is uh, an, uh, an inverter. Uh, you only need an inverter if you are going to connect it to an AC device. If you do not have an AC device, you do not need an inverter, you do not need this. Now to store the charge, you need a battery. Uh, I use a gel type battery, uh, typical of what you find in uh, vehicles. Uh, they are hardy uh, devices and do not require much maintenance. And obviously after that, we also need the appliance that you are going to run. How to do the connections. Now, when I say it's uh, solar panels are connected parallel, that means the positives are connected to each other. And we go to the solar charge connector right there. And similarly, the negatives of each of these are connected together. And they go to the setting on the solar ch uh, charge converter. Uh, the battery, uh, which we would do last, uh, uh, actually ideally I prefer to connect the inverter first if I'm going to charge an AC fan to it if I'm going to connect the AC fan to it uh, and the negative goes to the negative you will see that on the pictures I showed you uh, and for the batteries this is how you get them connected. Rather simple, straightforward. Now, to talk about this, uh, you're going to see two setups. With the inverter, it's needed to convert. This output here is 12 volts. So it goes to an inverter, inverter converts it to an AC power, and it can run the AC fan. However, if you do decide to go with a DC fan, 
you actually do not need this. You would just connect the DC power directly to the fan from here. So it would go directly to the DC fan. Now, the, this is arguably a lot more efficient because what happens here is the 12 volts is converted to a higher voltage and there's a lot of loss in the conversion. And then it goes to AC fan. You also have the additional cost of this. Uh, AC fans are a lot cheaper because it's just simply not common to have a DC fan and therefore I guess economies of scale this is a bit more expensive but it is a lot more efficient because 12 volts a battery is 12 volts everything is kept clean and the charge goes this way so there's another video where I'll talk more about this and this uh, parallel versus uh, in series so but uh, otherwise this is it it's your basic 12 volts uh, DC fan setup or an AC fan uh, fan setup.